Hello, I am Professor Young, and today on Technically You we will be providing you a brief on wireless standards. What are wireless standards? The IEEE 802.11 is a standard introduced by the IEEE to be used for wireless Ethernet networks. These standards have been incorporated into the Wi-Fi standards, which are certified by the Wi-Fi Alliance. While there are various wireless standards available, each one was more or less built off the previous version with additional enhancements, features, ranges, and bandwidth. Thus, even the most advanced routers and access points may be backward compatibility with some legacy wireless devices. Today most devices operate under the common 802.11a, b, c, 802.11g, 802.11n, and the newer 802.11c, Wi-Fi 5, and 802.11x, Wi-Fi 6. Routers, wireless firewalls and access points today are dual band providing 2.4 GHC or 5 GHC. 2.4 GHC has a longer transmission range or coverage, but transmit data at much lower or slower speeds, plus it is a crowd spectrum and quite noisy. 5 GHC is much faster, contains more available channels, and is less crowded than 2.4 GHC, but covers a shorter range. The most known wireless standards. 802.11x, Wi-Fi 6, branded as Wi-Fi 6, the 802.11x standard went live in 2019 and will replace 802.11c as the de facto wireless standard. Wi-Fi 6 maxes out at 10 Gbps, uses less power, is more reliable in congested environments, and supports better security. Wi-Fi 6 also delivers MU-MIMO which stands for multi-user, multiple input, multiple output. MU-MIMO allows lots of users to access wireless networks all at once by dividing channels into smaller segments, and it helps multiple Wi-Fi devices coordinate communications faster and better. MU-MIMO is not compatible with all devices. Technically U covers Wi-Fi 6 in slightly more details in a separate video. 802.11c, Wi-Fi 5, the generation of Wi-Fi that first signaled popular use, 802.11c, uses dual-band wireless technology, supporting simultaneous connections on both 2.4 GHC and 5 GHC Wi-Fi devices. 802.11c offers backward compatibility to 802.11a, b, g, n in bandwidth, rated up to 1300 megabits per second on the 5 GHC band, plus up to 450 megabits per second on 2.4 GHC. 802.11c enhanced MIMO, and the newer abilities was named MU MIMO, which stands for multi-user, multiple input, multiple output. 802.11n 802.11n was designed to improve on 802.11g in the amount of bandwidth it supports by using several wireless signals and antennas. 802.11n introduced the MIMO technology, which stands for multiple input, multiple output. This technology was enabled by using multiple antennas instead of a single antenna. 802.11n could provide up to 600 megabits per second of network bandwidth. 802.11n also offers a somewhat better range over earlier Wi-Fi standards due to its increased signal intensity, and it is backward compatible with 802.11a, b, g devices. 802.11g. 802.11g combined the best of both 802.11 and 802.11b 802.11g supports bandwidth up to 54 megabits per second, and it uses the 2.4 GHC frequency for greater range. 802.11g is backward compatible with 802.11b, meaning that 802.11g access points will work with 802.11b wireless network adapters, and vice versa. 802.11a. While well, 802.11b was in development, IEEE created a second extension to the original 802.11 standard, called 802.11a 802.11a supports bandwidth up to 54 megabits per second and signals in a regulated frequency spectrum around 5 GHz. This higher frequency compared to 802.11b shortens the range of 802.11a networks. The higher frequency also means 802.11a signals have more difficulty penetrating walls and other obstructions. Because 802.11a and 802.11b use different frequencies, the two technologies are incompatible with each other. Most vendors offered hybrid 802.11ab network gear, with the two standards operating side by side. Each connected device must use one or the other. 802.11b IEEE expanded on the original 802.11 standard, creating the 802.11b specification. 802.11b supports a theoretical speed up to 11 megabits per second. A more realistic bandwidth of 2 megabits per second and 3 megabits per second was the norm. 802.11b used the same unregulated radio signaling frequency, 2.4 GHz, as the original 802.11 standard. 
being unregulated, 802.11b gear did incur interference from microwave ovens, cordless phones, and other appliances, using the same 2.4 GHC range. It is rare to find an 802.11b device in use today. This is our technical brief for today. Thank you for watching, if you found this topic interesting, please hit the subscribe button now.